This is my Raspberry Pi video recorder and still image camera. It can also take uh, time lapse still images. On the front, there's a, a real time clock, so when the Raspberry Pi is switched off, it retains the time and date. Uh, and it's got cursor keys and an OK button to select items in the menu, and another button to start recording or stop recording or take a photograph. I've got a series of bright LEDs along the top, so in dark conditions for close up photography, you can illuminate the subject. The Raspberry Pi camera is in the bottom right hand corner, it's just sticking through there. Uh, we've got the Raspberry Pi board, and we've got a battery pack in the middle, which is six AA batteries, and then a reversing sensor monitor on the back. The actual battery pack I can take the cover off and can replace the batteries at any time. I'm using rechargeable batteries, and typically from uh, two and a half ampere AA batteries, you get about six hours of. Um, on time, and that's including the monitor being on all the time. But in the software for this, I've set it so that the display can go to sleep after a set period of time in order to preserve the battery power. So if you're doing time lapse photography, it can last a lot longer then. If I switch on, because there's a switch on the top of the battery pack, it takes a, a couple of seconds for, for it, the monitor on the back to switch on because. The GPI pin, which turns it on and off for standby, um, it, it, does, it doesn't come on straight away, but now it's now it's on, and it'll boot into the actual software itself. I'm using Arch Linux, but the the SD card's a bit a bit slow. This is the display of the camera when it's switched on. Uh, in the top left-hand corner, there's a preview window which shows you what the camera's seeing. So I put a coin in front of there, so you can see that the camera's picking up the coin. Uh, in the right hand side there's a menu which is uh, basically all the options which are in the command line rasp still and rasp vid uh, applications and the first with the first uh, menu item is power so i can power the device off uh, if i go to cro across the right one it's led off to switch the led on the front off but it's not on at the minute so i'll go across one more led on so i'll select that and it, it turns on the LEDs on the front of the device. So I'll go back to the LED off menu, switch off the LEDs. And then there's options to sleep, so I can make the uh, display on, on the camera sleep after a period of time or, or make it stay on all the time. So the sleep off is the display will never go to sleep. And then there's sleep for after one minute, sleep after five minutes, or sleep after ten minutes. So if you're doing a long time lapse video capture, you can make the display sleep, and the time, the video capture will ca continue going on, but the batteries should last a lot longer because the display on the back will be turned off during that period. The menu item below uh, is the mode of operation. So on the very far left, there's camera operation. So if I select that by clicking on the OK button, and then what I can do is I can take a picture of the coin. So I'll press that. So it's just taking a still image of the coin. Uh, the next uh, mode of operation is time lapse. If I select that, and when I click on the the, uh, the button to start the recording of the time lapse, it'll take a uh, picture every second. So I just let it capture a few images. And then I press the button again to stop the time time lapse capture. I go to the next option of uh, mode, and it's video capture. So I select that and click on start recording. Okay, so now I can record a video. I'll just do something with the coin. Oops. Uh, just to capture a bit of video and then I stop recording because the next option is the playback and it can play back a piece of video so when I select that and then go into the file list uh, you can see these are the things which uh, we did uh, so I've got the still image at the top and then these are, next ones are the capturing of the uh, time lapse and then the bottom ones are video and I can play that back by selecting it and it'll play back full screen using the OMX player and so it's playing back now 
I can interrupt it any time by pressing the buttons on the front if I, if I didn't want to see it all the way through, but I just let it play out. Okay, so I can go back to the uh, camera mode. Uh, these other options, um, they are just the, like I say, the command line options which are available. And if, if I change it, so if I make the brightness darker, but if I don't click on OK and go on to the next menu item, it goes back to what it was, just in case uh, you didn't want to select it. But So you have to click on the OK button to, to select it. So if I make it darker again and click on OK, then the preview updates and you see what the camera sees. That's very dark actually, so I'll make it a bit, I'll make it 40%. And there you can see it getting a bit bit lighter, now I'll make it 50%, a bit lighter again. So you see exactly how the, ca the camera's gonna take the photo. So these are all the other options you've got. If I go down to effect, because you can select the camera effects as well. Uh, if I go into negative mode, you see it in negative mode, so the rise, so quite, quite good things to add to um, add to an image maybe I could just go back to normal none okay keep going down so you can change the quality of the images the time-lapse period so once every second five seconds ten seconds and you can change these in the configuration as well if you didn't like these configuration options you can there's a text file where you can make it whatever period you like yourself in these menus and then frames per second you can change it to various different rates um, and resolution as well at the minute it's in its highest resolution but I've given provided a few different ones that can be selected and the rate of capture the bit rate of capture of the video as well but if I scroll back up to the top of the menu and I'll just power off the device by selecting off.